facing Brian McRae with the runner on. Oh, my goodness. For real, though. No, he didn't, y'all. McRae's third home run of the season. He went four for five of the night with three RBI. Top six, Reds down five for Eddie Tobinsey with the sacks. Jack unjacks them. Eddie hitting 373 in the year. He had three RBI in the night, 32 for the year. Lenny Harris grounds to third, but Edgardo Alfonso, nice play to get Harris. Now, usually, guy makes a nice play. He comes up big with the bat. Mm, not here. Bottom eight, bases loaded. Alfonso grounds into the inning, ending five. 4-3 double play, Mets lose 8-6. The Reds snap a four-game skid. During that four-game skid, Cincinnati had batted just 177 as a team, including three for 27 with runners in scoring position. Pete Harnish remains undefeated this year as he faced his former team for the second time this year. Kevin Millwood and Walker got it. Fifth of the year, Rockies lead 1-0. Bottom of the first, one on for Michael Tucker facing John Thompson. And Tucker, homers. Can't keep doing that catchphrase, can I? No, go ahead. No. I'll do it for you. Ninth of the year. All right, Braves lead 2-1. 3-1 Atlanta. Todd Helton sends a flare to short right. Andrew Jones makes the grab and throws the first to double off Vinny Castilla. Top of the six. 4-1 Braves. Larry Walker sends one to left field. Ryan Klesko. Great grab. Bobby Cox clapping. Much faster than that in actual real life. 5 1 4. Nobody on two outs. Mo Vaughn lofts one over the monster. 12th homer of the year. Red Sox up 1 0. A fabulous night in Fenway for anyone affiliated with the Red Sox. Case in point, the third baseline ball boy makes a nice play, and then he's going to play the field. Oh, uh, get a number, big fella. All right, baby. There you go. Top of the third, still 1 0. Boston. Charlie O'Brien rips it down the left field line, but Troy O'Leary tells O'Brien, those who are late do not get fruit cup. And O'Brien's quite late. The very next batter, Mike Caruso, hits it to right field. And Darren Bragg tells Caruso, those who are late do not get fruit cup. A fruit cupless Fenway. As Boston goes on to win 6-2, Pedro Martinez was the prime beneficiary of all that defensive support, but the former Expo was more thrilled about all those runs. Bottom of the first, 1-0 O's. Man aboard for Derek Jeter, facing former teammate Jimmy Key. Jeter off the left center field wall. Chuck Knobloch speeds on home. Jeter speeds into third with a triple. We are tied at one. Still in the bottom of the first. It's now 2-1 New York. Runners on the corners for Chad Curtis. Oh, and he gets hit in the foot! Uh oh! Everybody remain calm. Okay, all right. Loads the bases for Jorge Posado, who slices one down the right field line. It's in there for a double. Bernie Williams, Tim Raines come on down. Yankees take a 4 1 lead. Top of the second, Hideke Irabu on the mound with two outs. Hits Mike Bordick. Everybody remains calm. Mel Stoudemire chewing gum. George Stomerner with his new sparring partner, Rudolph Giuliani. Bottom of the fourth, still 4 1. More Derek Jeter. This one off the right center field fence. Chuck Knobloch scores on this one as well. Jeter now with a triple, a single, and a double. 5 1 Yanks. Top of the sixth. Irabu's only opponent that gave him trouble. His belt smiles, everyone. Top of the seventh. Graham Lloyd is not yet suspended. He's going to serve it once the straw is done. And he comes in and he gets Rafael Palmero to pop up and Carter to fly out to right to get out on the two on, one out jam on the seventh to the bottom of the seventh. Still 9-2. Jeter, a home run short of the cycle. The base is loaded. It would be a grand way to get the cycle, but he grounds it to the 5-4-3. Double play. No cycle for Jeter. Top of the eighth. Jeff Nelson still isn't suspended, so why not have him pitch? Another edition of American League Justice. Gets Brady Anderson to fly out. Nelson gets out of that jam. Yanks give up four in the ninth, but they flick away the O's by the final of 9-6. to six. In all, a tame night, even though three batters were hit, they proceeded to first without incident. Said Joe Torre, I think everybody thought, turn the page. Yesterday doesn't count. The Yanks tagged former mate Jimmy Key for nine earned runs and one out. Kenny Lofton, base hit. Travis Fryman, David Bell come on down. Indians up 2-1. Top of the sixth, game tied at five. Two out, two on. Travis Fryman in business to do business. Goes over for the wall for a three-run shot. His sixth, Indians up 8-5, and they would not look back. Still in the top of the six, two batters later. Kenny Lofton, indeed, lofts one. Two-run shot. Great catch by a fan. 
Lofton's fourth, five ribbies for Lofton. That's a career high. The Tribe pounds the Royals again, 14 to 5. Charles rocks Eric Young to sleep. Then he gets some defensive help. Sammy Sosa rocking a nice glove. Sosa making up for an 0 for 3 day at the plate. And then Tappany schools Bobby Bonilla to end the inning. Bobby Bo, 0 for 4. Bottom six, Henry Rodriguez on a 3 0 pitch. Show me love up in the club. Tenth homer of the year, said Hideo Nomo. Take a look at the video. I just got hit. Cubs lead three zip. More defensive help. Bonilla lines one off Tappany to Jeff Blauser. Blauser flips to Mickey Morandini for the force. Tappany, I'm okay. In the seventh, Raul Mondesi. It's just Mondesi there. Yeah, just Mondesi. Quick, Mondesi. He was Tappany's eighth strikeout victim. Tappany, a complete game, three hit shutout. Rose at Spose. Mark McGuire not in action. Ryan McGuire tells Jose Lima, mm, you're not my daddy. <laughs> McGuire's first home run of the year. Ryan McGuire now trails Mark McGuire by 1,455 feet worth of home runs this week. McGuire also doing it on defense. Robs Moises Alou. McGuire two for three in the night, but Astros say any D you can D, I can D better. Trey Moore, hard grounder, J.R. Phillips, nice stop and flip. Phillips just caught up to replace the injured Jack Howell. More good defense, or get your glove up and pray. Watch it again. Trey Moore, great snag, reacting right away, saving injury maybe. Tied it to bottom seven. J.R. Phillips again with the defense. Nice diving stop on Derek May. Then from his knees, guns down McGuire at the plate. Check this out. Derek Bell against Anthony Telford. Big up respect. Derek Bell in the top of the ninth. He said, you can't take anything away from Telford. I battled him. He battled me. 4-3 Astros that made it. Now, bottom nine, two out of Vladimir Guerrero at the plate. Billy Wagner got him looking. Astros win the game 4-3. Wagner got his 11th save in at first. Moving over from third, Gary Gaetti. Not good. And he busts out the whooping stick on Mark Portugal. Third homer of the year, 6-2 cards. McGuire likes what he sees from his teammate. Top of the seventh, Gaetti going for his second homer, and Gaetti got it. Fourth of the year, 8-2 Cardinals. Gaetti can't go three homers like McGuire did the night before, could he? Well, in the top of the ninth, facing Mark Leiter, Gaetti hits one deep to left. But the vet's big enough to hold it. The cards win eight to five without Big Mac. So McGuire sits, Gaetti moves from third to first, and he homers twice. Up the gut. Great reflexes by Oquist to grab it. Take another look and listen. Didn't know he had it. Bottom six, 1-1 one, one game. Darren Earnside just had his 10th home run. Tim Salmon, I reckon he got his ninth home run of the year. Mm -hmm. Reckon it was the Angels' 51st home run as a team. Mm -hmm. Ken Hill getting tougher after he got the lead. Looking for an AL tying high seventh win. Got Ben Grieve. And then Matt Stairs full of sound and fury signifying nothing. Ken Hill had eight Ks. Ninth inning, two outs, 2-1. Two Ken Hill just begs to stay in. He says, please, did you see? <laughs> he said, he please. Said, please. please. Maybe you should have. Mike Holtz gives up the single to Ben Grieve. Grieve, a 318 hitter, the rookie is fat. 5 2 Angels. After a wild pitch brought in the third run, Ken Hill, Noivis. Matt stares. Yep, yep. Base knock up the middle on the breaking ball. 5 4 Angels. After a questionable stolen base and pass ball, Mark Bellhorn on third representing the tying run. Troy Percival is all good. Uh uh. All good for the Angels. Percival now. 12 for 14 in save opportunities this year. Angels win it 5-4. Jason top one, here's a clue. Peace. A-Rod takes Darren Oliver out. His AL leading 17th home run. Kids hitting 314 on the year. Mariners up one zip. Top six, Al Levine in on relief. A-Rod, that's not Al Levine. That's a new center fielder. A-Rod says, watch out there, doctor. Y'all don't know nothing about this right here. His second two-homer game in his last five days is sixth of his career. Uh, got him. Bottom six, Heathcliff Slocum on, facing Lee Stevens, and Stevens rocks Heathcliff's world. With the man on, done. His second homer of the game, fifth career multi-homer game, said Stevens. We all know that they had our number last year. We use that as motivation. Speaking of having somebody's number, bottom seven, Pudge Rodriguez pulls out his fat wood. His ninth homer of the year, Pudge hitting a fat 387 and ties the game at seven. Would that be all for the birds? Bottom eight, Fernando Tatis tattoos it. This bird does not make it out of the park. Good for a triple. Tatis would score in a Tom Goodwin sack fly. He was two for four in the night, Tatis was. Lou Pinella needed a hug. Rangers worse. 
and Dave Nilsson on point. Deep to center, but Daryl Hamilton getting a little freaky with the leather. Got freaky with his bat, too, Daryl did. Two for five at the plate. And then Barry Bonds slams the double off the top of the wall. Second time in as many nights he's missed a homer by inches. All Hershiser scores. Bonds 17th double this year, tied for second best in the National League. Oral Horshizer just one for 17 hitting this year. Oral breaking off something real proper. His first RBI since 1993. He went two for three at the plate and was the bomb diggy pitching. School's Jeff Cirillo on the changeup. Hershiser said, I'm getting to be not so predictable. Giants win the game 4-2. Hershiser seven innings, gave up one run. Bad handling. Chris Peters pitching, Greg Vaughn hitting and hitting way old. Vaughn's 13th home run of the year, ninth home run in 86 career bats against Pittsburgh. Top seven, Vaughn's next at bat against Mark Wilkins. Wilkins hits Vaughn to load the bases. Daryl Strawberry did not come out and punch anybody. Next batter after a pitching change, Wally Joyner. Wally, a 3.23 hitter, gets the base hit. Sterling Hitchcock, Steve Finley score. Vaughn scored when the throw went out of play. Padres walk over the Pirates, 8 to 3. That's a walkover. Can you do that? No. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Everybody's angry, huh? Bases owed in the fifth for Matt Williams. A career 286 batter with the bases juiced. Oh, he's got the J.U. ice. Fat Mojo. Seventh career grand slam. Second slam this year, 439 feet. Diamondbacks up 7-3. Bottom nine, Marlins. It's bases owed for Todd Dunwoody with one out. And Dunwoody chilling. He chills a lot. He's just a 167 hitter. Go back to the dugout. Sounds like there's 10 people there. There were nine. <laughs> Still loaded for Greg Zahn. Zahn grounds to Andy Stankowitz to end the threat and end the game. There are actually seven people there when that happened because two of them left. Diamondbacks win their third straight 7-3. All six of Arizona's fifth inning runs were unearned as they... John Flaherty is 0 for 27 with runners in scoring position. Jose Canseco takes Wilson Alvarez deep and gone. He's 14th. one nothing Blue Jays. Let's go to the top of the third. Runner on third, Fred McGriff at the plate. Fred McGriff swinging. Next batter, Paul Sorrento swinging. Henkin strands two to get out of the inning, seven strikeouts in all. Top of the six, two outs, runner on second, Flaherty at the plate. John Flaherty is 0 for 28 with runners in scoring position. Henkin strands another, eight for the game. Bottom of the six, six nothing Blue Jays. Jose Cruz Jr. Two run shot. His first extra base hit since opening day. That's a span of 93 at bats. Blue Jays win nine to one. Alex Gonzalez and Sean Green also homered. Pat top of the six. Mike Morgan gives up the solo shot to Joe Randa. Tigers cut the lead nine to four. Kelly comes out and brings in reliever Mike Trombley. And Trombley on the mound promptly gives up a two run shot to Damian Easley. Tigers cut the lead to nine to seven. Kelly makes a pitching change again. At the top of the eighth. And Eddie Guardado comes in and again. Time the new pitcher falls him two and gives up a home run to Bobby Higginson. Uh, the lead is now 9-8, to eight, Minnesota. And Tom, undaunted. Hits a home run to oh, Tom, don't do it. Don't do it. Brings in Dan Nolte, and he gives up a home run to Damian Easley, no, no less. Second home run of the game. Tigers take an 11-9 lead. Kelly's pitchers gave up four homers in two innings. It's a 12-9 Tiger lead in the bottom of the ninth, but Orlando Merced brings in two with this base hit, and the Twins trail 12-11. to Two outs, the tying run on second, winning run on first, and Alex Ochoa grounds to Davy Cruz, who flips to Easley for the force, and the Tigers hold on a win. Want to take a breath? All right, you good?